In our last episode of Mastering Town Hall 9, I gave you one tip to become a better Clash of Clans player, one that everybody should be using. Plus, I told you why we were over here in Echo Wars. Today, let's check out some results. But not only results, my friends, because I still need to do my two attacks inside of this war. I haven't even looked yet. I'm taking my first look right now. Scrappy Nines has three-starred all of our bases so far, guys. And look, let's see. Was my base tripled? Well, of course it was since they three-starred all of them. That is uh, not good. That means they're relying on me for some triples. We've only done 21 of 30 attacks and we have 10 stars to make up. It looks like everything has been claimed. There's one base down below I can go for, one up here and one up here. The other ones have already been flagged. My job is going to be to clean up some of these bases. So let's take a scout of this right now and see what I have to deal with. We have a clan castle right there. The queen's back there. I could skeleton the king in the back. You know, I could probably get this base done. The thing that's scaring me are these wizard towers. This is going to be one of the hits that we're doing inside today's video. Before we go into it, guys, make sure you sub the channel and ring the bell. Daily Clash of Clans and four Mastering Town Hall 9 videos per week for you guys. I've been loving the series. I hope that you guys are too. But you know what? We forgot to talk about walls. We have 136 wall pieces left to go, and we're going to be doing that here today. So you know what I need to do? We need to get rid of some of these tombstones, and we're ready for war. We're ready to go on in. And now if you're wondering what the war is, Echo Wars versus Scrappy Nines, this is an event war. We just split Scrappy Nines in half, brought all of our Town Hall Nines together, and we're doing a fun family war. So really, whoever wins or loses, Scrappy Nines still wins, which is cool. If you guys want to join us, remember, you have to come through the Discord server. You can't just apply in-game, but I want you guys to try. Not to apply in-game, but I want you guys to try to, uh, you know, come join us. Discord server down below. Hopefully this is going to work out. We're going to hit OK. This is the army we're going in with. The plan is set. It was a pretty easy plan to set up, to be honest with you. One, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. We're gonna go with a wizard right here. Gonna get a wizard right here as well. We're gonna go with a golem. Golem, we have the poison spell right there to deal with that. We're gonna go with the wizards behind. Oh, no, they did not take out my healers, good. I got scared there for a second. We're gonna go here with the king, and here with the queen. Everything so far looking pretty good. Valkyries will come in right here. Funnel's been set. We are gonna drop the jump spell pretty soon. And that's going to go right here. Jump spell. We're going to rage everyone into that jump. And then we could heal everything up there in the core. Popping the king's ability. That worked out pretty nicely. Yeah, we're going all right. We're getting through. We took out the enemy queen. We're going to go with another jump right here to get them through the base. That's going to work out well. Now, my witches along the outside, though, they aren't doing quite as well. They got beaten up pretty badly. We're going to go with the skeletons right there on top of the enemy king. Giant Bomb is going to take those shields off my guards. We got through the base pretty good. We're dealing with some Town Hall 8 level mortars. The problem is they're mortars. They're splash damage, and they're going to do a, a lot of damage to those witches. I really want to take them out so that the skeletons can stay alive. Complete the spam. We need more spam around the outside of the base. King and Queen are in the core, but there's a lot of defenses left. And the Golem, again, is what's getting the healers. We just need those healers to be on top of something like a witch or the queen or even the king, just not the golem. My god. Oh man, that golem is going to steal those healers for the remainder of the attack. Queen goes down. We got the 77%. Nothing else to add in. We were so close on this. That stupid dumb healer did not go on those witches. If, if they did, these witches could have made their way all the way around the base. Now why does that have to happen? We were so close, and there are three people watching. Come on, get that wizard tower, get that wizard tower, and we did. There's only one defense left. We could get this. If that healer were to get off the golem and come on over to my witch, we could get this base. I mean, there's 50 something seconds left. There's a lot of spam from that one witch, but we're gonna get stuck on this storage unless if the queen beat it up a little bit. Oh no, she didn't down goes my witch. Oh my goodness, it's going to be a high percentage one star two star two star oh man this one was close though unfortunately that wizard tower the skeletons ran up the wizard tower stopped targeting the skeletons targeted my my witch and this golem 
doing absolutely nothing but taking away those healers. You know, maybe I'm sending in my golem a little too early on these attacks. A 98% two-star on this one. You know, I'm tired of bringing you guys attacks that aren't triples. This one we're choking up right here to bad luck. We're ending the battle because there's no more we can do. A 98% two-star, feel bad for me. Before I go into my second hit, we should take a look at some really nice attacks from the war, maybe on the other side of the war. See what some of our opponents did. Let's go check it out. All right, so the attack we're gonna feature from the war right now is a Zap Hog attack. So these lightning spells have really come into play here and uh, zapped out the entire core of the base, took down the queen, not needing to deal with her whatsoever. Couple of giants, lots of hog riders, four Zap spells were used to start some things out. Two heals, a poison, and a skelly spell. So what's in the clan castle? Is it gonna be a golem for some tanking? I mean, we're gonna have to see, and we're gonna see pretty soon. But the big cheese from Scrappy Nine is coming in against Mikey, who's representing the Echo Wars side of the war. Now, he is coming in with a golem, and that looks like a max level golem. Am I allowed to bring in max level troops in this war, and I didn't? That could be the case, and I could be bringing my, because if I had bowlers in that last attack, I would have won. But, hmm, maybe not. I'm not sure, but this looks like a max level golem to me. Ah, the big cheese coming in with the power, but look at that clan castle lore. Baby dragons coming out. Nice job with the poison right on top of those baby dragons at max level queen. Man, queen level matters for sure, guys. Coming on in and cleaning all that out. Then we have some troops down below setting that funnel as well, and the queen, she's just going to keep on going, picking away defenses one at a time. Hog riders are coming to town to help out our girl. And, uh, well, she's going to be stuck on the wall for a little bit there. 28 hog riders left, and many of those are coming in from down south. Tesla pops up behind the town hall. More hog riders coming in from down south from the other side of the town hall. And they are going to storm through really nicely. Really nice deployment there of those hog riders to make sure they don't all path to the same defense. Although... They did end up going to the same defense after they cleaned up a bunch. But more hogs are being dropped in from the west and the giants from up north. Those giants are going to do some tanking and look at this beautiful heal spell. My god, that heal spell got every single hog rider inside of it. And that's going to make sure all those hogs are strong and powerful for the rest of the attack. Queen's going to clean up some stuff. Another heal right by the Tesla skeleton spells there as well, which will help take down some of the skellies that are attacking. And, you know, that's it. That's it. That's all that's left. There's no more left of this base. The big cheese spanking Mikey's base. Town Hall 9. Guards are cleaning up. Hogs are cleaning up. Even the goblins chewing up on that Town Hall. They're trying to grab that juicy loot inside the Town Hall. Because remember, guys, goblins attack loot. Town Hall holds loot. But man, what a great attack. It makes... I'm envious of attacks like this. Wondering why I can't do the same thing. I have max level hogs. But my heroes are low, and I guess I'm just not as good. What a beautiful triple out of the big cheese. But it's time for me to do another attack. It has to get done. I'm going to do it now. I really need your luck, guys. And it looks like Lieutenant Nemo has not been attacked. So I need to attack his base. YouTuber versus YouTuber. And I'm going to come in with my witches over here. They're going to funnel all this out really nicely. Another witch here will funnel all of this. Then I'm going to send my golem in a little bit later on this one. I'm going to jump spell right here. And then I'm going to jump spell right there. I'm going to be able to skelly. Actually, I don't have to skelly the queen. I could go right on into the queen. Poison the queen and the clan castle. Skelly the king on the back end. We're ready to go. Oh, again, wish me luck. G knows I'm going to grab this one. I'm feeling confident. We're coming after you, Nemo, on this. If you haven't checked them out, Scrappy Academy YouTube channel, guys. Go have a look. Three witches, two healers. We have three witches, two healers. Good. That's going to that's gonna develop. We're going to give that a minute here to develop. I don't want the golem, like I said, I don't want the golem to just, like, steal my healers again. That was really bad. Bad news. So we're going to go with one... Okay, those witches are going around. That's good. We're going to go with one golem here. One witch. We're going to go with the king and the queen. And we're going to get another golem here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that golem is going towards that Tesla. We want to get that taken out. We're going to go with the jump spell. We're going to go with the clan castle troops. We did lose some healers. Uh-oh. And we're going to rage all this up as we get into the core. Pop the king. We're going to go with another heal spell. And we're going to go with a poison spell right there on this clan castle. Jumping through that middle portion of the base as well. We're out of troops. Hopefully those witches can make their way around the core. Sorry I'm not looking at you, but I'm trying to make sure I pull in a three. And I'm not sure that I'm gonna. We do have the golem in the core. The witches still have those healers, which is great. 
And we are working on that king right now. We're going to drop the skeleton spell on the king. The queen's working on the Tesla. She's got a little mini Tesla farm to deal with right there. The golem is tanking, so I want that queen... Uh-oh, the queen's going to get some healers now, but we lost those witches along the outside. Queen needs to take that jump. She needs to work her way through the base, and with we got to pop her ability. Had to pop her. Looks like the witches are getting targeted hard by that cannon. Queen finally takes down the enemy king. One healer on my queen. We have witches being healed on the outside. The golem are tanking. Are we going to be able to push through? The queen should step on up to the air defense, which is now taking out those healers on my witches, which is not a good story. Take that down. Let's leave at least one healer up. Oh, no. The last healer goes down. It's like everything is down to this tiny, tiniest little bit of time. Now, we don't have a ton of defenses. That mortar is targeting my queen. Oh, the queen stopped pounding. She changed wall. This witch, though, can really walk her... Those two witches can walk themselves nicely around the base. There is a corner hut that I didn't account for, and I don't have anything to drop on it. These skeletons are going to be able to run themselves around the base. There's only three defenses left, but time is a factor, guys. We, oh, we don't have a ton of time. The golem is going to get in front. It's going to tank for the queen. Now, the golem, they did take those healers, which is okay, because right now the queen has health. Those those skeletons need to get around. They need to be able to shoot over that wall, take out those defenses, and in time run back down to grab a builder's hut. We got a 98% on the last one. Are we going to be able to bring in enough percentage on this one? It's going to be so close. The queen is going to be tied up on that storage. I need the skeletons to run around. Run down here quickly. Oh no, it's going to be a 99% two star what your boy needed to do was save one wizard and i would have had this base but no no this feels bad so on the positive tip because your boy just pulled in a 98 percent two star and a 99 percent two star we need to do some wall. I need to do something to get my head straight, something progress, right? So let's go over here. We can get some dark elixir, some gold, some elixir, and more dark elixir. We're gonna grab these three sections of wall. We're gonna go one, two, and we're gonna grab this third one. We have a lot of loot from the top. We'll go one, two, three. I should have enough to do all this wall, maybe more. Let's grab a little bit more. Boom, boom. We have eight sections of wall selected, ready to go. We're going to upgrade all of those right here. We're going to do it one, two. Oh, man, that's going to be expensive. Or I could use the rings. We're using the rings, guys. Getting them all. Eight more tiers of wall. And now it says it up above. We can move all of these. Put it official on the full max wall thing. But I need to go in and attack. We need to go find something just here, just to you know, bring myself back from the fails that we've had. Man, those were such tough fails too. I don't know if we checked out your comments earlier in the video. If we did, that's awesome. If not, we're gonna check them out right now. And I just realized that I have no more clan castle troops. So I can't go in another attack and get another fail. That would just devastate me for the day. So I'm going to come collect my free gems over here. I don't know if we're going to win this war, guys. It's 37 to 45. They've already tripled all of our bases. We only have six more attacks to go. And, uh, well, I wasn't able to pull it in for my team. And it feels bad. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something from my mistakes. Save one wizard in your pocket and I would have been able to take out that final thing. It would have been done, but I didn't. But I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Episode 23 is in the books. We're going to be back tomorrow with episode 24. And you will have the final results of that war and maybe even starting to do some attacking through the skies. We're going to have to see because my Lava Hound, she is one day, nine hours away. So if I record the next video in a day and nine hours, we'll have a level two hound and we can start attacking through the skies. Have a great day. Check out the entire series, guys. Comment below. Remember to use code ECHO and be good.